What's up guys and welcome back to The Melting Pot Hoi. I'm Sir Mikami and on this video, we're doing a whole new series. We're gonna eat at an izakaya, so let's go. So before starting this video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my friend Thomas for gifting me this awesome t-shirt. He is the founder of The Most Satisfying. It is a Japanese streetwear brand. Their message is expressing your true inner passions and recreating what it means to be cool. Embracing your individuality is what defines the most satisfying. So if you want to see some cool Japanese streetwear, check out his Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Once again, thank you so much, but let's get back to the video. So Izakaya is a Japanese bar that serves like small plates or tapas. They all specialize in different things. Today we're at Toriton. They have a lot of yakitori, a lot of different kawameshi, which is like steamed rice. We have, we're gonna start off with some appetizers here. So we have some quail eggs, some refreshing cucumber, and one of my favorites to start is taco wasabi. And since it is a bar, I need to start off with a beer. Cheers. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this taco wasabi out first. Take a look at this. <laughs> it's like kind of slimy, really chewy, slightly spicy, but with beer, I really love the taste of that. Really good. It's a really textural thing. For a little bit of refreshing bite, it's like a seasoned cucumber. That cucumber is really well seasoned. It tastes like a little bit of sesame oil, some salt in there, but definitely it, it's a nice refreshing start. We're gonna move on later on to like deep fried stuff and grilled items. But I just wanted a little food in my stomach before I drink. Now I have this quail egg. It looks like it's marinated in some kind of dashi broth. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Yeah. It's like a kind of hard boiled quail egg. Dashi is really nice. This is a really good start to our night of drinking. So I got the salmon ikura salad. Take a look at this. I love ikura. So I'm just gonna get some salmon with these delicious gems of ikura. If I can grab it in one bite. Look at that. so buttery and that ikura it just pops oh it doesn't even need a dressing mm. this is awesome so i got some more seafood dishes to start this is a grilled smoked saba or mackerel just gonna grab one of these pieces here. Take a look at how oily and dripping that is. I'm gonna put some mustard and just give it a slight dip in this soy sauce. Mmm. <laughs> a little smoky, slightly fishy, but very oily. That is a really good bite. So for the next drink, we ordered a bottle of Ichiko. This is Japanese sochu. At izakayas, if you're a regular, you have you keep the cap and you screw it on top and you and a lot of people have like a big stack on top. This is our first bottle, so let's see how many caps we can get later on. There's many ways to drink sochu, but today I'm just gonna pour it on the rocks. 
but be careful this stuff catches up to you. All right, so now we're moving on to more grilled and deep fried dishes. The reason why I want to start off with the vegetables and the fish first is because these dishes are a little bit more heavy, so it's gonna, it's gonna fill you up a lot quicker. I got some taco karaage. It looks like a whole baby taco right here. Mm. Perfectly fried, so crispy, but really chewy with the small baby taco. That is really good. At Tony Tom, their specialty is this giant sukune, and you dip it in this egg yolk. Take this chicken meatball and then I'm going to dip it in this runny, runny yolk and it's okay to have raw egg yolk but look at this dripping bite I can't wait this is one of their specialties mmm Mmm. <laughs> There's so many aromatics in there. The chicken is so moist. It's so moist. I can't believe this is ground chicken. And with the yolk, it just adds a level of creaminess. It's okay to eat raw egg, guys. Mm. Yeah. That is good. So we got some more deep fried food. This is some fried gizzards. Looks like there's like some daikon and ponzu sauce on it. Oh. Fried really nicely. The gizzards is like a slightly crispy, crunchy texture. That's good. I love the texture of this gizzard. Mm. But since we're into fried foods right now, I definitely had to get some chicken karaage, which is some Japanese style fried chicken. Look at just how deep fried and crispy that is. Let's give it a bite. Pull that hot. Huh. All right. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to just eat the whole piece as soon as it came out. Kind of burned my mouth. But that is some good fried chicken. It's not super crispy. It's more of like a lightly floured batter. But the marinade is really, really good. So I have this one more bite of this yakitori. Look at how perfectly grilled this is. Let's give it a bite. Oh. The chicken is so juicy and it's smoky, salty, and all those green onions just gives another added level of flavor. It's just the perfect bite. I love yakitori because it's so easy to eat and it just adds that smoky taste to everything. It's like you're grilling. Oh, I love it. So this is chicken breast with wasabi on it. I'm kind of scared because it looks like kind of a lot of wasabi. I'm gonna spread it out throughout the whole stick and let's give it a try. Mm. That wasabi went up my nose. If you have a stuffy nose, Eat some wasabi and just clears it out. Holy cow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that was too much wasabi, guys. I shouldn't have done that. But let's just give it another bite. It's perfectly juicy, perfectly salty, but oh man, that wasabi just went straight to my nose. But yakitori, again, it's one of my favorite foods to eat. It adds that next level of flavor, that smokiness, something you can't get at home. All right, so the last thing that we got was kamameshi, which is like a steamed rice dish. So if you just take a look at this, that is steaming. It's salmon, and let's put this ikura in here. <laughs> there we go. Now we just mix it up. This is a perfect way to end the night with some rice. If you notice, izakaya food, I didn't have any starch yet. And this is kind of gonna just fill my stomach up. Look at this. Oh! Look at this bite. All the rice, kombu, uh, not kombu, gobo, carrots, and salmon. Let's get a nice big bite. Mm. Each grain of rice is like flavored. It's not just like white rice. All the flavors look. The fish, the gobo, the carrots gives it sweetness, earthiness, saltiness, fattiness, and the ikura. It just coats every piece. Oh man. This is the perfect way to end the night at an izakaya. So remember, start off with the vegetables, get some fish, get your fried dishes and your cooked grilled but grilled dishes and then end off with some starch. Izakaya is my favorite way of dining. Check it out and we'll start this new series. Let's just get this big bite. Mm. That is so good. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you like this video hit that like button and just subscribe to the channel If you want to see what I'm eating on the daily, I'll leave a link to my Instagram account in the description box below We just started this idea for the izakaya series, so look forward to more content from that But as always, until next time Aloha